Hello hobby farmers, I'm Eric with the Hobby Farm Guys. In our spotlight video this week, I highlight a big beautiful breed of goose, the Toulouse. Stick around to learn about these beautiful birds. And while you wait for the intro to play, go ahead and subscribe to the channel by clicking that subscribe button if you haven't already to make sure you can always find us and our videos. The Toulouse is an old domestic breed of goose descended from the European Grey Lag Goose. Developed in southwest France, the breed gets its name from Toulouse, a city in this region. Toulouse geese have been recorded as far back as 1555. Long famous for their incredible production in France, Toulouse geese were imported to England around 1840 and to America in the early 1950s. The Toulouse comes in two color varieties. The historic and most common Grey Toulouse, which was recognized by the American Poultry Association in 1874, and the Buff Toulouse, which was admitted to the standard in 1977. Toulouse geese are often divided into three subcategories, the standard dewlap, exhibition dewlap, and production. The standard dewlap Toulouse is a huge bird averaging 20 to 26 pounds. Some specimens tip the scales at 30 pounds or more. The bill is stout, the oval-shaped head is large and broad, and the moderately long neck is thick and nearly straight. Suspended from the lower bill and upper neck is a heavy folded dewlap that increases in size and fullness with age. The body is long, broad, and deep. The abdomen is double-lobed and often brushes the ground. Another unique feature of the Toulouse is that the feathers of the back should have a ruffled appearance rather than being smooth like most other goose breeds. In color, the gray Toulouse is an even soft gray with each feather of the back and flanks being edged with near white with the rump being white. The buff Toulouse should be an even shade of buff with similar white markings as the gray. The bill, legs, and feet of both varieties are orange and the eyes are brown. Exhibition Toulouse geese have a similar appearance but with exaggerated dewlaps and kills and are bred as decorative showbirds. Production Toulouse are slightly smaller than the standard Toulouse, but still weigh in at around 18 to 20 pounds. They also lack a true dewlap, though the sides of the neck are still deeply furrowed. These are what are typically sold by hatcheries. The production Toulouse is the most popular gray goose in America. Historically, goose fat was utilized as a primary source of cooking fat and lubricants. Fat being desirable, farmers often raise standard dewlap Toulouse geese in cages to limit their movement, exploiting the breed's ability to put on large quantities of fat when fed plenty of food with no room to exercise. Modern farmers fatten dewlap Toulouse geese for production of foie gras. Sometimes this involves placing a tube down the throat to force feed large quantities of food, resulting in an enlarged fatty liver. While the standard dewlap variety excel at producing foie gras, they lay only 20 to 35 eggs per year and are considered one of the most challenging domestic goose breeds to raise successfully. But the production Toulouse is well suited to the hobby farm or homestead, happily living in large gardens, pastures, or orchards. Toulouse geese are decent foragers and enjoy tender weeds and grasses. While they enjoy grazing, they typically don't wander very far and being a large goose breed, they aren't what you would call avid flyers, so wandering off isn't typically an issue. In order to maintain a good weight, their diet typically needs to be supplemented. Although, depending upon your goals, you may need to ration supplemental feed, as, like their standard dewlap counterparts, they gain weight rapidly when there is an abundance of food and little room to exercise. We all know about that. They will also require protective shelter at night and during prolonged periods of wet weather. Primarily raised for meat, the production Toulouse will perform slightly better than her standard dewlap counterpart in the egg laying department, producing 25 to 40 extra large white eggs a year. The fluffy feathers of this goose breed are also a good source of down feather. While they can live to be over 20 years old, average lifespan for Toulouse geese is about 10 years. They mate for life and ganders may be paired up with three or four geese. Although good fertility can be achieved on land, it sometimes enhances fertility if they do have the chance to mate in water. 
Females are usually good mothers, but do tend to be somewhat clumsy and can easily crush eggs with their large size. Eggs are incubated for 28 to 34 days. Toulouse geese are considered friendly and generally calm, quiet and slow moving. However, they don't like to be startled or rushed. They have a very trusting nature, a trait that makes them popular as pets. But they don't do well in mixed flocks as other more aggressive breeds tend to bully or upset them. Not apt to wander, they generally stay close to home, but may require some care. In addition to regular worming, Toulouse geese are susceptible to fly strike or maggots on open cuts or scratches, which can be disguised by their feathers. So periodic inspection is a good habit. They're also susceptible to a condition known as chronic wet feather, where their plumage is no longer able to properly repel water. Their soft feathers don't seem to dry out as quickly as the plumage of other geese, and hence they may struggle in times of prolonged rainfall. They should always have access to dry shelter. They also need to be able to keep their feathers clean and in good condition, and for that they need opportunity for bathing. After a bath, they usually preen themselves, spreading waterproofing oils over their feathers using the combs inside their bill. So that's the Toulouse, an old large breed that is available in standard dewlap exhibition and production varieties. Gentle, fast growing, and not apt to wander, they are a popular choice for many hobby farms. What about yours? Let us know what you think of the Toulouse by dropping a comment below. Remember to like the video before you go or stay. You can check out some of our other videos covering geese while you're here. Until next time, happy hobby farming.